no country with any dignity or sovereignty would accept this. That to be a citizen, you must pledge loyalty to a foreign entity. German politicians are proposing a new law that would require new citizens to pledge allegiance to Israel. The law comes in response to the 7th of October attack and Israel's assault on Gaza and has already been passed in one federal state. However, the Middle East Monitor has seen evidence that Palestinian citizenship applicants in Germany are already being asked about their views on Israel and the Palestinian resistance as part of their applications. Despite widespread repression of Palestinian protests, brave activists have been shutting down roads, train stations and openly criticizing Israel. Nomi Shladko has been a key organizer of recent actions, including shutting down a road to the German Bundestag ahead of a vote on the proposed law in November. We decided to block the street to call for a disarmament of Israel. That we're also standing there in solidarity with the people from Reza. I think it's very important um, to understand where this law is coming from. So these two laws are basically about like fighting anti-Semitism. But like these two laws are not directed to like Germany and Germ uh, German people. They are being directed at immigrants because basically these two laws say to be integrated and to uh, gain citizenship in Germany and um, people need to commit for Israel's right to exist it needs to be written down which Sachsen Anhalt now did und wer deutscher Staatsbürger werden will muss sich zu unseren Gesetzen bekennen muss sich zum Grundgesetz bekennen und die Frage ist erkenne ich das Existenzrecht Israels an dass Israel als Staat existiert und wenn das in Frage gestellt wird da ist eben genau die Grenze die wir ziehen the law has now passed in Saxony Anhalt and is still being considered in the Bundestag which would see it rolled out nationwide. But in a letter from the Berlin passport office, shown exclusively to Memo, a Palestinian applicant was effectively asked to accept Israel's occupation of Palestine, despite living in a state where the law is not active. This particular letter that I received, um, they're demanding three things in order for me to be good enough of a person to become a German. The first one is I recognize the right of Israel to exist. The second one is I condemn the Palestinian resistance as terrorist. Then the final one is that I accept that the only way to deal with the occupation of Palestine, the occupation of my homeland, is by normalizing and by accepting this occupation the way that the UAE did. The letter contains pages of documents detailing his activities as a pro-Palestine activist and asks him a series of questions such as Do you have contact with the Popular Front for the Liberation of Palestine? How do you assess Germany's relationship with Israel? What do you think about Gulf states improving relations with Israel? What do you think of the slogan From the river to the sea, Palestine will be free? What is your attitude towards democracy in Germany? Etc. Etc. Memo spoke to other German citizenship applicants from Europe and Latin America and they confirmed that they were not asked any similar questions. And I didn't reply to the letter uh, because I have one of two options. One is to submit to their demands and say whatever they want to hear or two is to write what I think and there I would be assuming that whoever is reading it is open to thinking things through and changing their mind about Palestine. Uh, I would be assuming also that there is no political decision that has already been made before I was sent the letter, not to give me the German citizenship. Since the 7th of October attack, Germany has been the EU's main cheerleader for Israel's war on Gaza and has silenced and repressed anyone opposed to their position. But why are they doing it? As the Interior Minister of Saxony Anhau explains, defending Israel's right to exist is Germany's Staatsräson, or in English, the reason for the existence of the state. Man muss sich natürlich auch bewusst sein um die besondere historische Verantwortung, die Deutschland hat. Und die besondere historische Verantwortung schließt eben ein, dass deutsche Staatsräson ist, dass das Existenzrecht Israels anerkannt wird. Why the Staatsräson is like basically Going back to our to German's history of like the Holocaust, Germany has like the historic responsibility towards um, Jewish people to do everything in order to like support Israel. 
fighting anti-Semitism is something like very important that we have to do because also me from, coming from like a very conservative and um, little town um, in Thüringen, I know how how many Jew haters are there, you know, and they are not, they're not people with like migration background, it's German people that are calling for the killing of Jews, you know. Successive German governments have said that the far right is the biggest threat to their democracy. In 2019, two people were shot dead following a failed attack on a synagogue in Halle, which is also in Saxony-Anhalt. The perpetrator was a far-right white German, and so the citizenship law would have done nothing to prevent such attacks. So it's just basically seeing that like anti-Semitism is imported from the Middle East. Um, that like uh, saying that like Muslims are just like in their essence anti-Semitic, which is not true because like if you look at anti-Semitism, if you look at fascism, it's all ideologies that have their origin in Europe. For me, it's just like a racist projection. It's really important to understand what it means when someone says recognizing the right of Israel to exist, because. Countries could recognize other countries. Uh, China could recognize India and Algeria could recognize China. Recognizing the right of the occupation of Palestine to exist means that you recognize that everything that this colony has committed and continues to commit to establish and maintain its existence is legitimate and moral. I will never recognize the right of the occupation to exist.